Well, there is a mix of uh, different uh, type of news. Uh, I think one of the main driver was really this uh, negative uh, Delta squeeze we saw last week, uh, starting in the US. Too many investors are net shorts or not you know, enough investors. So in order to cover themselves, not on the downside, but on the upside, they're buying a lot of auction calls. And this buying of call options have been pushing you know, indices, indices higher, first in the US, and now we start to see this uh, in, in Europe. There are also you know, different uh, type of uh, um, um, uh, um, tailwinds, uh, such for instance, that uh, what's the improvement we have seen in the UK, uh, also you know, uh, yen intervention. But it's a mix of different things. I will, I will say that the, maybe the sentiment was just too negative, and now it's starting to improve a little bit. And what do you think uh, happens from here? Is this a rally that you would be chasing, or do you think it's going to prove a bear market bounce, especially given a lot of the uh, buying, as you just said, is coming from call options and perhaps some short covering? Yeah, that's the key uh, decision to make. You know, uh, do you want to chase this rally, or do you still believe uh, you know we are in the bear markets? On our side, we still believe that there are too many uh, headwinds uh, uh, for stocks. Uh, you know the, the most you know important one is uh, is definitely central banks. Uh, liquidity continues to worsen. They need to hike rates because they need to cool down inflation. That means that the liquidity cycle is still not in favor of risk assets. Uh, that's point number one. Point number two: valuations. Yes, they are you know more attractive than they were at the start of the year, but they are not they are still not let's say uh, attractive enough, especially when you compare with, with with bonds. And also, what we want to see is some improvements uh, in let's say inside the financial markets liquidity. You know, we will probably uh, discuss about what is currently going on in the U.S. Treasury market, where the liquidity has been waning. And, and any, let's say, tightening rate tightening cycle is bringing with it, you know, some financial market risk. Uh, we have seen what happened in the UK, well, which is you know, a broad story over the last few weeks, but we know that different accidents can happen down the line. So we still believe that we are in this you know, high-risk scenario because of what is going on with the central bank in terms of liquidity tightening. We've got a lot of earnings out today and the reaction in some areas has been positive. So the improvement we've seen uh, just in recent weeks around sentiment, just adding to those positions with some of these stocks improving on top based on the fundamentals. Do you think some of this activity holds? Have we got a reset now on earnings for at least some stocks? Well, you know, the, in, in terms of tactical bonds, it looks like a technical bonds. You know, it's uh, again what what could what were one of the possible drivers. You know, over the coming coming weeks, could be, for instance, what is going on with CTAs. We see CTAs moving from net shorts now to you know almost net longs, uh, which is interesting for for stocks. But when it comes to fundamentals, you know, you mentioned the Q3 earnings seasons. Yes, expectations were too low. And now they are being reset, you know, because you know, the, the, the results are better than expectations. But the, the key question mark is, for instance, for 2022. In many markets, you know, we still, the consensus still expects uh, almost double digit earnings growth for next year. When you compare this with what is expected on the macroeconomic front, there looks to be, you know, too much of dichotomy between the two. So we still believe that earnings expectations for next year will be also revised downwards which might be, let's say, another issue for, for stocks going forward. So again, on, on let's, the global picture is, if you look at the medium trend, it's still, let's say, negative for equity markets. In the short run, there are some technical factors which might make these bonds like a nice November rally.